So what actually happens is you get, um, what people do, is they reverse their preferences over time. Now, this is where we get um, the descriptive model. It's basically uh, very, very similar. It's just that um, the curves are different. So I'll just, again, draw it and explain it. Right, so the important thing you'll see about this is basically that the curves cross over at this point. I'll talk about that in a minute. So this is essentially called hyperbolic discounting and this is the um, descriptive model. Now, this is a bit of a weird word, it doesn't really matter that much. Um, all it refers to is the shape of the curve. Okay, so, said before, the va these uh, curves cross over. So what does that mean? What it means is, um, right now, what do I have the highest, what gives me the highest value? Um, this one. So, Right now, I'm going, to, I'm going to think, what I'll do is I'll opt for the bigger uh, but delayed reward. Fine, brilliant, so far we're doing exactly what we would be doing if we were um, optimal in the, in the normative model. But what you'll see, as time goes by, what happens is the value of um, the smaller but more immediate reward um, gets discounted much less, so its value just goes rapidly up and up to its true value of £100, for example. And at this point, the value of the smaller but more immediate reward becomes higher than the larger but delayed reward. And that point is called uh, the point of indifference. The exact point there the values are basically the same, and I don't care which option I go for. But after that point, um, what I've done is to reverse my preferences. So that's an important thing, the preference reversal. And people do this, and it's the main reason, it's the main um, bit of data which says that people aren't optimal, people don't do the normative exponential discounting model. So this is a bit like saying, um, I'm not going to stop off at this uh, motorway McDonald's because, um, yeah, fair enough, I'll, I'll get a bit of food, but it'll be crappy food. What, what I'm going to do is kind of wait, I'll drive longer and get better quality food, which will give me more reward. But what happens is, as you get closer and closer to the motorway turn-off to McDonald's, you, you discount this much more. So actually, you'll have a preference reversal and you'll give in and you'll say uh, I'm going to go for the McDonald's and you know there are loads and loads of different examples of this uh, which you'll find in the books and this is what people do and this hyperbolic discounting is basically the explanation for that so hopefully that makes things uh, slightly clearer loads more stuff to do with this in the book but um, this is the only real complicated stuff.